Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on Rex Finance, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I missed you over the weekend. If you guys missed me back, leave me a comment to make me feel good, and even if you didn't miss me, maybe you didn't even think about me, which is probably the majority of you, still leave me a comment to make me feel good. So first, I just want to thank you guys for the massive support you've shown my channel lately, and I advise you to go check out my top three stock picks for May. There will be a card up there and a link in the description if you're interested in that. So if you clicked on this video, you might be wondering, what's the company that is like Tesla that nobody knows about? Well, my answer for that question is Workhorse Group. Workhorse Group is an electric vehicle manufacturer and they are deep in the delivery drone and the delivery van service. But that's not all. They do have a pickup truck unit. And let me tell you, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but the Cybertruck from Tesla is ugly, man. It is ugly. And this this truck, I mean, the, I can I can I can live with the look of this truck. Let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But before we start, I should probably let you guys know that I am not a financial advisor if you guys hadn't already guessed. So, I am not responsible for any gains or losses in this stock, and this is a super speculative play for a few reasons, but there's also a big opportunity here to make a fortune on this stock because this company, I believe, is going to be a juggernaut in their space in the near future. So with most speculative stocks comes a lot of bears, and bears just mean they hate the company, they think the company's going into the ground, and they don't think the company's going to make any money. But this company is different. StockTwits is a website that allows you to talk amongst other investors in the companies you invest in. And let me tell you, the Workhorse Stock Twits group is the most bullish, amazing group of people I've ever met. And there are very few bears in that group, which is rare for a speculative play like this. So you might be wondering, what does Workhorse actually do? Well, like I said, they're in the electric vehicle space. They make electric delivery vans, electric delivery drones, and they have a pickup truck as well. Now, the reason this company is so bullish in my opinion is because they have a much needed patent. Their patent doesn't allow any other company or business to use a delivery drone that is launched from a delivery vehicle. Now this is big because companies and delivery services are constantly trying to figure out how to eliminate the cost of last mile delivery. And that's the problem that Workhorse Group has aimed to fix. And this company already has customers like FedEx and UPS among several others. And I don't know about you guys, but I believe delivery drones are the future of delivery. And Workhorse recently signed an agreement to allow their drones to help with the virus. Through their drones, they can deliver test kits and medical supplies in record time. And just a fun fact for you, Workhorse has the most electric vehicles on the road out of any company. And that probably surprises you like it surprises me. So I mentioned they had a patent, and that patent is the most important patent there is. But they also have six other patents that have been approved and they have four other patents that are pending. So if this company can continue to get patents passed, they're gonna be the only player in this space. So first let's talk about the delivery vans. They were developed in accordance with UPS in a partnership to meet their stringent requirements for their delivery vehicles. Now this is big because they can form partnerships with UPS because of this. Other customers besides FedEx and UPS include DHL and WB Mason. Now the main reason this company is a speculative play is because they had next to zero revenue in their recent quarters. But this is because they have transitioned their focus and they're focusing on manufacturing and developing their new C-Series models. Up on the screen now I have the C-Series delivery vans. And let me tell you, these are a big improvement from their previous generations. This company has many future deals that are likely because of all the patents they have. These future deals could include the United States Postal Service, Walmart, and maybe even Amazon. But to be honest, Amazon probably won't use their technology, but they'll be forced to use their patent, which is big. And the United States Postal Service contract that they're likely, that they're likely to receive interest in is worth $6.8 billion to manufacture 188,000 plus electric delivery vehicles. Now this is huge because as you can see to my left, the market cap on Workhorse is 223 million. This 6.8 billion dollar deal is almost 40 times the worth of their market cap. 
If they sign this contract, this stock is absolutely going to explode. And most people think that this contract will be signed by Workhorse because of the aforementioned patents they have. And that all is part of the reason why this stock is up almost 90% over the past month. Now you might be scared to invest in a company that's up 90% in a month, especially a small cap stock like this, but the potential here is amazing. I only have $750 invested in this company, and let me tell you, I wish I invested more. And I probably will if the stock price drops at all, but I honestly highly doubt it ever will. So I might be forced to chase the stock price up in order to add to the shares I already own. So next, let's talk about the electric vehicle pickup truck that they manufacture. Now, they don't actually manufacture this pickup truck anymore, but in lieu of that, they recently signed a deal with Lordstown Motor Company. If you guys remember way back in the day, Donald Trump was a huge fan of this deal when Lordstown purchased the GM manufacturing facility. The facility they purchased has the capability of producing 250,000 vehicles per year. Now you might be confused and wondering why I'm talking about Lordstown Motor Company now, but the reason I'm doing that is because Workhorse granted Lordstown a license to the technology and design of the Workhorse pickup truck. So in exchange for all the technology and the design for their pickup truck, Workhorse was given a 10% stake in Lordstown Motor Company, and they receive a royalty fee for every delivery that Lordstown makes using their model. In addition to this, Lordstown is the only manufacturer, and it will remain the only manufacturer. And the reason this is huge is because Workhorse doesn't have to focus on manufacturing their electric pickup truck anymore because Lordstown is doing that for them, which allows Workhorse's manufacturing facilities to focus on the last mile delivery systems that they're so heavily invested in right now. So now let's talk about what most of you probably are here for, and that is the Horsefly and Surefly drone vehicles. So my bullish thesis for this is that the virus is going to lead to a massive inflow in e-commerce and remote delivery systems. This delivery drone has superior technology. As you can see, Workhorse's website's actually playing kind of a promo video to my left that you guys can look at. It's no secret that delivery drones look to be the future of delivery. And Workhorse isn't coming up any short here. They have all the patents they need. As you can see, just then, the drone took off from the top of the delivery van. The delivery van actually has a charging port for this drone, so the drone doesn't have to recharge at an alternate location. With this drone, Workhorse has a partnership deal with Moog for military applications. Moog is a designer, manufacturer, and systems integrator of precision motion and fluid controls and systems for applications in aerospace and defense. In addition to this, Workhorse has a partnership deal with USOG to deliver virus test kits and medical supplies in record time. As you can see, the drone technology from Workhorse isn't limited to just delivery. Although they're focusing primarily on delivery, which I think is a good thing, there have also been alternate applications for this drone technology, which is big. Their name is out there in the aerospace and drone community. People know who Workhorse is primarily because of their drone technology. In fact, this drone technology reduces last mile delivery costs by 95%. This costs only four cents per mile compared to one dollar per mile for a gas vehicle. Probably the biggest question you guys have is if this is FAA compliant and it is, and that is huge for obvious reasons. So to altogether, Workhorse is a disrupting industry. Their employees love working for them. They have superior drone technology. They have superior last mile delivery systems. They have the capability of signing a $6.8 billion deal with the United States Postal Service. They already have customers in FedEx, UPS, DHL, and WB Mason. They also have an agreement with Lordstown Motor Company where every electric pickup truck that Lordstown delivers, they owe Workhorse a royalty fee. On top of that, Workhorse owns a 10% stake in Lordstown Motor Company. And just a side note, Trump and Pence are very pro-Workhorse in companies similar to Workhorse because they are anti-Amazon. The central location, the Lordstown plant, and the Indiana plant, which happens to be Mike Pence's home state, all make a very good bullish case for this speculative company. So in closing, I believe Workhorse 
is a future juggernaut in the in this industry. They are a disrupting industry just like Uber was. They don't have much competition because they have so many patents. And honestly, guys, I try and look at every company I invest in from a bull and bearish case, and I don't see much of a bearish case for this company whatsoever. The only bearish case I can think of is that they have little to no revenues. But this was explained because of their transition to their new C-Series models and their manufacturing of C-Series models and their focus on the last mile delivery systems. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys leave a like and check out my top three stock picks for May, especially if this is too speculative of, of a company for you. That video would be perfect for any conservative investors. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of Workhorse Company. I really believe in the future of this company and I believe they're going to be a juggernaut in their space. So with that guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and have a great day.